So previously, imagine that we have some data from some different types of source systems. Now we have something called Data Factory. Data Factory is a tool that can just load data and, and copy data. So it's really good at saying, hey, I want this data, I want to copy it and put it somewhere else, for example. Where would it put it? We'll put it in a SQL database, what we call, this is ADLS, this is Azure Data Lake Storage. So it's a data lake on Azure, it's just for files and stuff. So the data factory will be able to copy it and put it in one of these systems. We also have things like Data Explorer, which can use KQL, Crystal Language, to look at data and really get it streaming. And then we might do other stuff, like this machine learning and this red symbol here is Databricks, which is an external um, company to Microsoft, who work very closely with Microsoft. These are tools that people typically do machine learning on. And then we might load the data into Power BI and do data analytics. So what we actually have is a ton of different services, right? And these blue ones are available currently on Synapse, Azure Synapse, which is really just a platform where you host all these different. It's got a lot more of other stuff as well, but these are just some of the tools we can use in Synapse. Then at the bottom, we have Power BI, which we load the data as well. And we have a tool called Databricks. So all these different things, and really what happens is people are sticking different things together. Now Microsoft understand that Power BI is a really nice product. So actually what's happened is that Power BI has absorbed all those other features. Now they're still in Synapse and they're still going to exist and you can still use Synapse. But in the Power BI now, in the UI and on the website, you know, the, the interface where you go to Power BI, it has all these other things available. And this is renamed as Fabric, so it's turned green and turned to Fabric. It can still connect to these other things like Amazon and Databricks, right? And it works really well to connect to this. And then what it actually does though, what one of the big concepts of Fabric is, is that instead of all these different areas, it has this single storage, the data lake, a delta lake, right? So it uses delta lake, this delta format. And then this is actually the same storage for all the different services, which is one of its big things. So it has here this Microsoft Fabric. And really it has different options for data science, engineering, a data factory, data factory for moving data, data engineering, data science, data warehouses, a SQL, real time, Power BI, all of this and it uses the same storage called OneLake, which is Delta. We also have data activator on the end. I'm not going to go into that, it's a new service and it's uh, for triggers and, and making reacting to your data, right? A bit out of this and we'll have a separate session on that because it's not out yet at the time of this recording. 